Hey guys, it's Ray again. I have another album review for you. This time it is Black Knife with Baby Eater Witch. This is probably one of my favorite thrash records to come out of the past few months, and it is perfect for the Halloween season. If you're looking for something that has almost the wandering nature of a Nirvana record with the tight rhythm section of a macabre record, this is going to be something you're going to want to check out. This record is, it, it's fantastic up and down the board. The riffs are catchy, the hooks are catchy, the bass, which uh, I have to shout out, is also fantastic here. Uh, the lyrical work is something like, uh, it's something like a shock rock style with uh, influences from Alice Cooper, Frank Zappa, King Diamond, this is a top-to-bottom great record. One of my only issues is that the production seems very flat. There is nothing with a lot of emphasis, and I think that does this record a disservice. This record needs more... This record is crying out for a Kirk Hammett-style solo or a Dimebag-style solo, and nothing shines through. But then again, it's still a solid record. I look forward to this group's future records, and I feel like you should pay attention to them. This is gonna get a three out of five stars from me. If you're looking for the, uh, if you're looking for the best song on the record, uh, "Evil Sex" on Halloween is is it's it's glorious. You just need to listen to it. Uh, it it has some of my favorite lyrics in in thrash today. Once again, this was Ray Wheeler with Baby Eater Witch uh, from Black Knife. Follow me at Ray is a movie nerd on Instagram. Check out my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.